With Predict Wind Weather Routing, you can set your wave polar to define the performance of your boat in various wave conditions and view the roll, vertical accelerations and slamming incidents that your boat will experience along the route. Setting up the wave polar can only be done on the Predict Wind Forecast website. Once set up, all the Predict Wind apps will use these settings saved on your account. The PredictWind app and Offshore app cannot modify the wave polar settings. They can only turn it on or off. To set up wave polar, go to the Forecast website, then Tools, and Weather Routing. Then click Routing Preferences. You can select your boat's performance polar from the predefined list. Or set up your own power boat, basic sail polar, or advanced polar. Then click on the wave polar. First, turn on the wave polar. Next, turn off advanced wave polar if it isn't already. This is the old wave polar system. If you use a predefined polar, ensure the checkbox indicating Use predefined boat dimensions is ticked. The boat dimensions of your predefined polars will be automatically defined using this setting saving you the effort of looking them up. If you are not using a predefined polar or think the values given are incorrect, uncheck the box, then fill out the fields Displacement, LWL, Beam and Draft. If you are unsure what these values mean, click on the link What are Displacement, LWL, Beam and Draft. The router will use these supplied dimensions to alter the performance of your boat based on the influence of wave conditions. Once you are satisfied with your settings, return to the weather routing page. Your vessel dimensions create a hydrodynamic model that is used when you calculate a weather route and departure plan on any of the Predict Wind platforms. We use the wind wave, primary, secondary and tertiary swell derived from the ECMWF WAM model in the calculations. Download a weather route. Once your route is calculated, you can view the outputs in the Tables, Graphs, Summary and Wave tabs. In the Graphs, we can choose to view the combined wind wave and swell, or assess each wave state individually in the wind wave, primary, secondary and tertiary swell wave graphs. We can also see the percent of influence the waves have on your polar, roll, vertical acceleration and slamming incidents along the weather routes. When we click on the Wave tab, we can see the data in a table format. We will now explain what these terms mean. Roll is the root mean square roll amplitude in degrees. When roll motions are large, moving around the boat and performing tasks becomes difficult. Objects not strapped down are likely to move. A roll RMS limit of 4 degrees is often used for safely moving around the boat and completing tasks. Roll tends to be the largest in beam seas. For sailing yachts, which have a heel angle, roll is the change in heel angle due to the waves. Vertical acceleration is the root mean square vertical acceleration in g-force. Vertical acceleration is a good indicator of the potential for the crew to get seasick. The algorithm takes into account the wind wave, primary, secondary and tertiary swells to calculate the overall vertical acceleration for the boat. The higher the acceleration, the more likely the crew will get seasick. A vertical acceleration limit of 0.2g is often used for safely performing tasks and avoiding seasickness. Slamming incidence is the likelihood of experiencing at least one boat slamming event per minute. For power and sail monohulls, slamming is measured 10% behind the forward waterline datum. When this part of the boat emerges clear of the water and then impacts the water with a high relative vertical velocity, it is called a slamming event. For sailing catamarans, slamming is measured at the cross deck structure and again is based on relative vertical velocity. For either monohulls or catamarans, a slamming incidence of 50% is considered excessive and may lead to hull damage or injuries to the crew. The wave data is available in both the departure planning tool and the weather routing tool. For departure planning, 
we suggest you use the wave data to assist in finding a departure time that doesn't present parameters above the recommended guidelines. In the weather routing tool, you can use the data in several ways. Avoiding adverse conditions is always the recommended course of action. If conditions outside the recommended parameters are in your weather route, you could slow your boat to avoid them or plot a course around the bad conditions. In other circumstances, you may have to tackle the presented conditions and use the wave data to prepare the vessel and crew by reducing speed or enact more stringent safety protocols on board. Be prepared and stay safe.